So, if I'm being honest, part of me is kind of reluctant to share this video for a few reasons. One reason is I had my GoPro on my head to shoot some behind the scenes while I was out shooting and I don't I don't know what happened but the GoPro footage just sucks. It's completely blown out and overexposed and it's it's almost unusable in some parts. So, there's that. Second thing is the shots I got, the photos, they're just they're just okay. But the thing is, when I went out and shot this footage, I intended to make a video, and I'm gonna I'm gonna follow through with that. I'm gonna make this video. Okay, so a little bit of context here. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I bought the Fujifilm X100F, and I've absolutely been loving it. And a few days ago, it was my day off, and it had just rained, and I was like, I'm gonna go out and get some moody street photography shots with like reflections and puddles and you know whatever. But as I was out, it started to rain again, and as I mentioned before, the Fujifilm X100F is not weather sealed, which, I, I don't know, oversight. So I ended up using my phone a lot. So the photos you see in this video is a mixture of photos from my iPhone XR and the Fujifilm X100F. So let's just get into it. I'm going to show you the shots I got, what I was going for, all that stuff. Um, once again, I apologize for the GoPro footage, and uh, here we go. Alright, so once again, I will just apologize for the atrocious GoPro footage, but we will get through this together. Right here is the first shot I took of this guy walking by. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. Kind of got him in motion. I then took like a moody, rainy puddle shot of the street. Um, this is my little buddy Qua. You guys have seen him before. Took a few portraits of him. I actually kind of like how this one came out. The Fuji does skin tones really well. This next shot here, I kind of dismissed at first, but it ended up being one of my favorites because the guy is blurry on the bike, but the woman in the background is sharp, and that's kind of the focal point of the image. And the same woman, I got her crossing in front of this window here. I thought it was like a cool, contrasty moment. I also have a black and white... Uh, don't really know which one I like better yet. Next thing we came across was this group of people coming by. I thought it was cool because they all had umbrellas. Um, this one here is really the only one I got that I'm a fan of. Uh, it's kind of cool as a black and white. At this point the rain was really coming down so Qua and I ducked into this donut shop here and uh, I used my iPhone and caught this cool shot of him on the bricks here. I kind of like this one. This here was the next location on top of this parking garage. I'm really fascinated with shooting crosswalks and lines lately. Uh, here's a bunch of photos. This was the last thing I shot at the first part of the day. Um, I saw these guys, these workers, up on this building here, and I got a few shots of them. I really like this one because the sky is moody, you could see glass reflections off the building, and the workers. Um, I took one with the X100F here. I obviously cropped in on this one a little bit more because I have more megapixels with the X100F, but I like both of those shots. I then went home for a little while, but I came back out for an event called First Friday. It's basically a big showing of artists. I didn't take the GoPro with me because I didn't want to deal with it, so I don't really have any behind the scenes footage, but I'll just leave you with some information on these shots. Enjoy! So that's it. I hope you guys are really enjoying the photo vlogs with the X100F. Um, I'm really enjoying making them, and I'm probably going to make more of them. Um, I'm also thinking about buying some of the lens converters for this, like the tele and the wide, just to increase the versatility of this thing. And I'm also thinking about switching to Fujifilm entirely, just because of this camera. So if you're into that, stick around for future videos and leave this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.